divine truths frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session two. Why do spirits influence people on earth? Well, to answer that question, we've really got to say, why does anybody try to influence anybody on earth? Yeah. <laughs> because uh, the reality is, like we've said in many answers so far to these questions, is that spirits are just people with exactly the same motivations and desires as many other people here on earth. So they all come from the earth. So they have motivations and desires that came from their life on earth as well. So the real question is, why does anybody attempt to influence anybody? And... The reality is that we're all influencing everybody at every moment, whether we like it or not, actually. The, the truth of influence is that we have positive and negative influences surrounding us all of our life. And these are a fact of life. And unless we're a hermit, we wouldn't have any, where we wouldn't have any physical influences around our life, we are going to be influenced by other people in some direction. We're going to have some kind of truths presented to us from other people from the universe around us. And if we're a hermit, we're still going to be have it from the spirit world. Mm -hmm. So the real question then becomes what kind of influence is positive and what kind of influence is negative? Well, the kind of influence that's positive is the kind of influence that influences us into a direction to become more harmonious with love, mm -hmm. where we use our will to help ourselves develop in love that is influence that is positive. Influence that is negative is influence that, that pushes away, us away from love, that causes us to move away from love or influences us in some direction away from love. And that's influence that's negative. So then the question becomes, what's the motivation for a person influencing us positively? Mm -hmm. And what's the motivation for a person influencing us negatively? Well, the motivations for a person influencing us positively are usually also loving. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the rea reality of love. Love causes us to desire to help other people become more loving as well as ourselves. So love becomes the positive influence that motivates people, whether they're spirits or people on earth, to help other people grow in love. In terms of the influences that cause a person to be influenced negatively, well, there are many and varied, but all opposite to love. Mm -hmm. So they're fear, shame, guilt, you know, sadness, all sorts of other emotions that a person hasn't released would cause a person, whether they're a spirit or a person on earth, to attempt to influence another person in a certain direction that's out of harmony with love. And we see this happening all the time on earth. Um, for example, we often see, you know, when there's a divorce happening, we often see, you know, the men go to the pub, you know, and they're not feeling their sadness. And so what they do, they attract a heap of other sad guys who are all drinking attract a heap of sad spirits who all want the drink as well and they, they get a bit drunk and they express their sadness, you know, about how bad it all is and they have a bit of a complaint session and might even get a bit angry and so forth and that's all negative influence down a certain track. Mm -hmm. Now the influence is because all of those people who are influencing that person probably haven't dealt with the same emotions that the person themselves is trying to deny. Mm -hmm. And it's the same when all the girls get together down the coffee shop and do the same thing at the divorce time, you know, mm -hmm. like complaining about the men and being bitter about how they've been treated and all those kind of things. That's negative influence, not towards love, but away from love. And as a result, you know, a lot of the people involved in that will be also not having dealt with the same kind of emotions, generally, that are in the person themselves who's being influenced. And so... Generally, what we find is that influence itself is driven by a whole heap of negative emotions that are out of harmony with love that haven't been resolved within the individuals who are trying to influence others. So what are, if I'm one of those spirits and I'm trying to influence you, you've got a similar suppression of an emotion as I do, what do I get out of that? Well, you get all of your addictions met, just like all the women sitting around the table, you know, all complaining about their men get their addictions met. What, what do you mean by addictions in well, that Well, they context? get their addictions of being able to criticise the other party without looking at themselves, without having to have a self-examination of what their problem might be. So no one there is challenging that 
feeling in them. No. And so it feels good for them. feels good for them yep. to not be challenged. They just want to vent and uh, have everyone agree. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever can corrects them generally. And if anybody does, generally they are attacked. And that's what people want. They want that. So basically you're saying that um, the reason why spirit would influence people on earth is because they feel good. They get to feel good out of it. The spirit gets to feel good and the person on earth thinks they get to feel good too. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's the, in a negative sense. In a negative sense. Um, in a really malevolent sense, the, it might be some kind of codependent addiction. So, for example, this person on earth might be terrified mm -hmm. and the spirit influences them to feel more terrified. Mm -hmm. And that is a, then the spirit gets to feel the joy of having someone else in more terror than they are. So they get to feel powerful or they something like that. They get to feel like powerful, yeah, yep. all those kind of things. Okay. If it's a sexual instance, then... The person on earth gets influenced to having sex and they probably want that and then the person in the spirit world gets to share in it and they probably want that. So it just depends on the motivations. All of those motivations, of course, are unloving, mm -hmm. but it depends on whether we want them or not. So basically spirits can influence the earth. It, it, all spirits can influence the earth. Mm -hmm. um, and but they not all do spirits it... can influence every person on earth yep. because every person on earth is in a different condition of love. And if our condition of love on earth is in a very good condition, if we become at one with God while on earth, it's impossible for any spirit to influence us negatively on earth. Mm -hmm. Impossible. Mm -hmm. Physically impossible. And spiritually impossible. So the reason why, though, is really because if I'm in a good condition of love, the reason I would do it is because I want to foster love. love. I, want yeah. to, I want love to grow. I want love to grow. And... And if, if I'm, I'm not in a good condition of love, yeah, why then would I that do means it? I have fear, sadness, you know, and all these other feelings. Mm -hmm. I want those feelings to grow. Yeah. So I want the feelings of sadness to grow. I want everyone to feel as sad as I do, or I want everyone to feel as angry as I am, or I want everyone to feel as afraid as I am. Or, yeah. uh, and so that causes me to motivate people in a negative direction. Basically, the underlying motivations are all emotional mm -hmm. in nature. Um, but the majority of people don't feel their emotions very well and so they don't notice the emotional nature of every piece, every bit of influence. Beautiful. Thank mm. you. If you think about even the influences we get from television, you know, with regard to advertising, a lot of advertising plays upon fear. If mm. we look at the news, it plays upon fear. If you look at, you know, you've got to see this, otherwise you'll miss out, that's a fear. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you, you've got to do this, otherwise you'll lose some money, that's a fear. And you know, there's, if you look at the average adverts on television, most of them play upon our fear. Mm. That's how spirits influence it. Exactly the same way. Give us in, in intellectual and visual messages playing upon our fears. Mm. And, uh, and of course, in a lot of cases, because we're unwilling to feel our fears and not, you know, and to be more ethical, unwilling to be more ethical, we go along with it. We go along with placating our fears and whatever the spirit tells us, we go along with it. Mm. And it's very much the same as any type of influence that we receive on earth. This is why I feel that we don't have to be there afraid of it. It's, a, it's identical to any kind of influence we would normally receive on earth, with the exception that we can't see the person doing the influence, that's all. Yeah. And it has very similar motivations and it also has a very similar way of combating it from our perspective. And that is if we were ethical, we'd combat it. If we were in harmony with love, we would not be influenced. Yeah, yeah. Mm.